creating a crossword puzzle in EducaPlay is as simple as writing the words and defining them with text, audio and images. You can also give a title to Ray, your automatic creator powered by artificial intelligence, and let it do the works for you. Your players fill in the crossword using the keyboard and the mouse or touchscreen. And they get points each time they correctly fill in a word. If you want to make it more exciting, you can set time limits or a finite number of lives. Let's go! If you haven't done so yet, click Create Activity, choose Crossword Puzzle, and register or login to start creating it. Once inside the editor, the easiest way to start creating your crossword puzzle is giving Ray a title, so it creates it for you. Based on the title, Ray will use ChatGPT's artificial intelligence to create a list of words with their definitions and will leave the game ready for you to publish after you add, remove or change whatever you want. You can also give Ray a piece of text to search for keywords and generate the crossword with them. If you want to create the game manually, type or paste your words in the fields, click on add word to add more and see how your crossword is generated in real time. You can define your words with text, audios or images. If you think your players don't need them, you can also leave the definitions blank. And that's all you need to create your crossword. If you go to the info tab at this point and type in a title and description, you can now publish your crossword puzzle and share it with your players. Sometimes it may happen that you write a series of words and the crossword is not generated. This means that one of them does not intersect with the others or that it is too complex to create. In that case, please try adding or removing some of the words. It's also a good idea to distribute them across multiple screens using the Add Crossword button. For example, you can create a game with two crosswords of six words each instead of just one of 12. Go to the Options tab and activate Penalize Mistakes if you want the player to lose a life and points each time they fill in a word incorrectly. If you do this, you'll have to decide how many lives you give them before the game ends. Use the time option if you want to set a time limit to solve each screen. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity, or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.